Can you explain why a Catholic should not receive Holy Communion at a Protestant church service? Yes, uh, absolutely. So St. Paul tells us in 1 Corinthians chapter 10 that the Eucharist is the sacrament of the church's unity, that our partaking of the one loaf, as it were, mm-hmm. is, uh, is both the sign and the, the, the instrument to effect our union in the one body of Christ, which union is visible and manifest in agreement on matters of doctrine. So 1 Corinthians chapter 1, Paul insists that the Corinthians agree on everything out of reverence for Christ. And he's mm-hmm. talking about doctrinal disagreement here. And so we're talking about a visible doctrinal unity. And the Eucharist is the pledge and the guarantor of that visible unity. So when you go to the Eucharist, uh, of it, however it's expressed, you are saying by your action that I think that this is the sacrament that, 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 uh, that, s- that signals the presence of Christ's body, the Church, with which I must be in total agreement. And I haven't even touched on the question of transubstantiation and the real presence yet. I'm mm. talking about the ecclesiological angle of the Eucharist as the pledge of the Church's unity. Now, the, the, when Protestants urge upon you intercommunion, hey, we should take your Eucharist and you should take ours, that sounds all nice and friendly, but there is a very polemical, aggressive edge to that. And the edge is, we absolutely refuse to acknowledge the Catholic doctrine of the Church. What seems like a kind gesture to be like all buddy-buddy Mm-hmm. is really an attempt to get the Catholic to concede the evangelical doctrine of denominationalism, the idea that the public association that you make with the faith is of no value, and it's all flavors of ice cream. You know, you can be Presbyterian or Baptist or Lutheran or Catholic or Episcopalian or what have you. All that really matters is that you're sincere and you have a, you have a warm, fuzzy relationship with Jesus, and if you've got that, you're all good. That, that's really what's being pushed on you in that moment. Yeah, I'll come take your Catholic communion. You come take my Protestant communion. Because after all, we all believe the same thing, really. Don't we? Hint, hint, what, nudge, nudge, wink, wink. No, we don't. No, we don't. And it doesn't mean that, I, that I'm going to be uncharitable at all, at sure. all, right? And I've been in situations before where I've been offered Protestant communion, and I smile and nod and say thank you very much and hold my hand up and go not coming today. You know, but, I'll, but hey, I'll, I'll go out and eat pizza with you afterwards. There you right? go. You know, well. Lentils, at least. Uh, lentils, right? yeah. And, uh, but, uh, but I'm not going to give up my Catholic faith or testify against my Catholic faith just to, to conform to your concept of ecumenism. 